A little anesthesia. Everything chill, hermana? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local tried to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Found yourself in a hole, sounds like. You need help? Uh, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint, deserved a hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. I'll talk to Kirk. But then you're gonna owe me one. He's so good for you. Hey, Kirk. Want to talk? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Eddies himself? Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. Cut him some slack, will ya? He'll pay. Just needs some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No. You let him off because it's me asking. Ha! Huh. You know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. Mm-hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course! I'm a man of my word, you know that. Whole thing's simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. Oh, come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Embers in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. I'm waiting. I can pay it. Spare a veteran for change. Go to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We. Long time. Didn't know you were around. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. 
How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard her, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? I'll pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty, what's it gonna be? One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you. Which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who is that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just strap down below. Here, before you go. Your number? Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. On location. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah. Something I can help you with. Kirk sent me. Mm-hmm. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Do your thing. 
Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a woman of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the what fuck the? out. Get the fuck out. Okay. Easy. Nothing personal, compa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of thieves' honor? Finders keepers. I was first. Listen, only one or two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What, what are you doing? Get you got us? Under arrest. Stay where you are. Hands where I can see them. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, Detective Stitch. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stitch. Yeah. Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come on, spit How it out. That? Wait. The pig that chatters. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your you tongue? You know fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, let's just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. Oh, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck, oh, ordinary dear. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Motherfucker. Ugh. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Spence wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Uh huh. He's Haywood born, bred, and grown like us. Hates suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. No. Oh, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should've known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained. Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels, at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe owes him big, and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. I don't wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. 
I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. You don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on, let's go have some lunch. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. Sense of kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay, food it is. Let's go. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the bouquet, kids! Or so they say, but you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! to the brain first! You AC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! <laughs> matters not where you're from! Matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City, the city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Bug. You focus. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomod. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry, try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? V. 
Alexander Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Mira, eyes up. The nails are hid. on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Flat out daughter, we could be that sneaky. Man, it's 
not my favorite way to roll, but Nova anyway. Got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Oh, this does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Cleave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica. I think. Oh shit, it worked. Fuera, Chica. Get her outside. Mm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Landing, stand clear. Initiate security protocol. Follow all instructions. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 for Brennagen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. 
The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, no, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, you're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or... Oh, I fucking knew it. Man, on her ass, tailing us. Salo, I don't like this beat. I don't want tight bit. Scabs! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Him, keep her steady! Hold tight, V! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, asshole! V! Aim for the driver! Chingado! Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. I can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. Doesn't look 
like your average bust. These ain't your average badges. That's Magstack. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Dunks out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. dreams then tell miss dear said hi i will i luego Bug? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping your deets. Praise be to me, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic evidence. No estoy de humor. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. I know I need a virus or I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Find me. How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? V, the sweet little 45 is waiting for its mommy. Hers after every shot now. Let's have a look.
Thanks a lot. All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. of the hour. Jeez, they took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Whole deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf. Local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First 
stop. Ripper Doc, Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. We'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Vicky's <laughs> Dry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig, had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. 
Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know. Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, I yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <laughs> Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. 
Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a place of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Hello? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Claim to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clubbed it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego.
T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Got anything Nova for sale? If you can afford it, yes. How's it going? Looking to buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. Thank you. 
closed out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nah, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet me there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep, now. Now listen, Clovis. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Her, you can let go. Wanna hear what she has to say. Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Okay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her!
Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. Por fin. Let me hear what you squared away. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a gel factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. 
Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Well, just me, us, chica. In the middle of town. These loons think there's a war going on? Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. Yeah, well, these guys are a bit more than just naughty boys. More minds? Seriously. Got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a crit. Brick got it. It's all paid off. Brick got it. <laughs> I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick, then. Let's cut a new deal. <sighs> now that's good business sense. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without batting a fucking eye! <laughs> I hand over the chip. You hand over the bot. Clean and easy. No complications. 
Look at this fucking Girl Scout. You know all your nods? Got all your badges? <laughs> you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> no, he ain't dead. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So, I'm gonna consider my offer now? I don't wait! Here's the cred. Hell, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred ship was spiked with a virus. But don't worry, I wiped it. Check it. Introduce you Got to our you. meat grunt. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Piece of shit. What the shit? An attack! And let's get the fuck out of here! Follow me! Militech couldn't manage it on the slide with the chips, so they rolled in the big guns. More their fucking style, I'd say.
Ottica! V, let's get out of here. <sighs> Militech. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. We could talk there. Wait! Hold, Hold your, your fire. fire! I'd like a word with them. You shot at my people. You know this guy? They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. And you don't know what to do. Why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? And you? Why are you here? Well, I... I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him too. It's been a pleasure.
Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Well, that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Hey there, dollface. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Ma, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm a Dale. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. That's all. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> now what do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. 
Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what kind of what Nothing's wrong. Like really? Do for a... Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on... Long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul, Trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for 
Analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Sorry. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff, uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory SIGs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. And we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, three, <laughs> Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. 
They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Too much. Felt it could feel the guy's pain, his, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. <laughs> Nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Got it, got it. Roll it back to the top. <laughs> all good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the yeah, and some psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, every on full blast, they'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now, you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. The limits Money. of the reality now. recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Make sense? Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. 
Hella nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Oh, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need t bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Cause you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? <sighs> Unimportant, Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut and fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh, make yourself comfortable. I need... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. The 
finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain... My father is tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must provide them. No! Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Nothing will change in here. He'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation, she has never the deal. I don't know if she me. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide right. them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. 
Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. What? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nice step. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Warikome. I miss this. You. I know. Anya. I know. Anya. Hey, say it again. Hey, what you up? Set one up. In the middle of the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no. provide them. Enough. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. 
You go that route, City'll always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay. For sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Uh -huh. Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Ugh, still feel like shit. My, what a sweet little face you have. Come on in. Que ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima, ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. About time, chica. 
What's new with Signora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Does not get any higher, Jim. And you know something else? You fucking earned it, chica. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! This place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Really, Jackie? What? Told you that myself. Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it must have been ages ago. And who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. This is it. Best leave ever. Lord of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you hey. imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All set on those two. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me, what would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Tonight, city. And the afterlife! Ha <laughs> ha! Deep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you, you now. My job to know. Look around. How do you think mercs earn their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Hmm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Hmm. Think you could take me? 
Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet booth. It's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. All clear to me. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Fine, Dex. Made your point. Wise choice. Last thing, Kompeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, team. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. I'm good. 
No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Something I gotta take care of first. Sin problemas. Meet you by the Delamain. Just don't forget to suit up. My systems inform me that we await one other passenger. Yep, on his way. Catching up. on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better! What's got you so antsy? Hang on, watch this. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? He's taking 70% of the pot. Or have you forgotten already? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. I know, Jack. Kind of feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. I need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. We are nearing our destination. And? Mm, got static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? 
I want more Aristotle. Fuck off, both. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. Shit's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Hannah. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Member. Reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department. Welcome to Compeki Papers Plath. are for the flathead. No swear. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home, Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? I don't intend to explain myself to you or anyone else. Actually, we have rules, see? And they say you have to. Ah, you are here to see Taki-san, am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. This should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Taki-san of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Taki-san is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici, cause some cybercycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. I don't look too shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. The 
nailed apart or what? <laughs> How do I look? Like somebody put clothes on a dog. Oh, yeah, because you look so much better. тестировали эту технику на нашем. Well, here we are. La Pete. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snazz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge at 100. Mierda. Little gonk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of Watson. The district I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try, and that is all I can promise you. Okay, Flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who finds him. A bug? Note inside a hitch. Sorry for what the now? Housekeeping's there was blood in my way. everywhere. Okay, got a distractor. Uh, let's see what's Am on the, the subnet. Am I the only one that just gets puked right, and used condoms? Where's the damn justice? Hollow projector, maybe? Nope. What would you say to a TV? Single? I'd say, who? keep looking. You know, good looking. Terrarium's got a control pin. Somehow I doubt it. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality control. Men like him are always single. Cream, yeah. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart. Always itching for a ride. I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. Hey, Bug, it worked. Oh, Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting.
okay? Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah, look around for a CCTV port. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. What do we do now? Neutralize him. Use the flathead to jack into him. I'll flash freeze him with a demon. You old lingo, don't ask. Dweller won't realize something's up. Gotta jack straight into his chair. He won't know what hit him then. Could drive a tank through here and he wouldn't feel a breeze. Dead to the world, that one. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second camp. Flathead into the chair, V. Jack in. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how are you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. What do you think? Why'd you give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's, education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yorinobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? <laughs> Poser with court protection. <laughs> and the name, too. Steel fucking dragons? Oh, man. A wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich, then got bored of playing tough. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Buck. We're, uh, were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh, about that stick up the ass. You mean the one up mine? The uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. This is going pretty smooth, right? 
right? Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. There's the awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. Like your Nobu left us a parting gift. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. What now? Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. We got winged visitors. Bug! Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Good. Let's go. Fuck, too late. Yorinobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? Fat pillar, try that. Fucking kidding! No! Inside it now! We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Is that. Is that Adam Smasher? Bodyguard. Ours. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one, too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Boko, we got incoming. Nuh uh, no fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof. Oh, fuck. Shh. Arasaka-sama. Mada body check ga wahatte imasen. Watashi no musuko da. Rei no mono o kaishu shimashou ka? Watashi ga yaru. Itte kure. Oh, 
私が気づかないとでも思ったのかそもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろうあんたの問題点はそこだ世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる傲慢だよ頼信どうしてここへ直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ立場を思い知らせるためにか出る悔いは打たれるとよく言うだろう自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか貴様こそ自分が何をしようとしたか分かっているのか私たちの功績を野蛮人に渡せなど私たちの未来を<笑>俺たちの未来<笑>俺たちなんかの間違いだろあんたは自分のことしか考えてないそしてこの会社のことしか<笑>いつかこのような日が来ることは分かっていた貴様はついに越えてはならない一線を越えたのだこれまでお前の愚行には目をつぶってきただがそれもここまでだこの裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからなおじいこれでもう誰のことも許す必要はないブ
down. <sighs> yep. That's fucking high. Shit. That trauma? They're here for Saburo. They're a little late. Just hope they didn't see us. Close one. The relic! Madres! Oh, oh this ain't good. Mm. Jackie, you're bleeding. Worry about me later. Get the relic. Container depressurized. Biochip integrity at 94%. Fucking drop in. Carajo. Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it! Evie? Kabeki's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip integrity's it. At... Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it! Shit! Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's got to slot the relic into your neural port. V, you there? That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk we'll lose it. Well, someone's got to do it. En el nombre del Padre, el Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Jackie? You okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We're gonna somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Now we best be quick. Oh, what I see. Gray. Now let's get out of here. Zen rooms? Yes. All clear. Nothing strange out of the ordinary. Well, the doors to the terrace are damaged. Then take another look.
my staff. Someone in there? Security, open up! Attention, Code Red has been initiated throughout Kempeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. Show yourself. 
Surrender immediately! by floor. Still nothing. Same here. Shut the I elevator down just in case. Keep looking. Elevator, Come out with two. your hands in the you air! Gotta take them out. Shard gives us access to the door. Come out with your hands in the air! Strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. Tell Bug, why don't you? Maybe she'd still be alive if we hadn't been so gung fucking ho. Don't.
Elevator! Alvi! Elevator! How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet woman, Jesus! Gilman! Please remain calm. Calm! Roadblock ahead. I can't. Oh, I'm a Miss <laughs> Clamor! A hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on us. Leave it to me! Why can't they just give up? Jackie, we fucking made it! <sighs> I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a Ripper Dock now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! 
It's okay, V. It's gonna all hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be all right. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <sighs> Misty, I know. She always knew. He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? We return to this week's biggest story. The murder of our soccer Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. No such luck. Hmm. That's one piece of good news. Good news. Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! I know. And that's why we gotta skip Night City, Dex. We? You're the fixer! Alright, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. New place, new identity. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up.
right then. Can't risk it, V. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking Seems kill I've you! Seems a quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Fuck around with it. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What crawled up your ass? Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. Shh. Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Take 
taking over. on the elevator, arm it, let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. It's grass green, birds fly, the cats eat bats, the rats shit gnats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy, come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. <laughs> Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Get ready. You wanna play? Me? Come on. Cheeto 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! Get out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes! Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. in on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. We turn now to Arasaka Tower, 
Its evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? Ugh. Hey, Gramps. I know you. Azusi. Hot damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yonakoto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you ひと
And you, who are you? Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Arasaka-sama, Oto-sama no sasugai han wo tsukemashita. Kono onna de machigai arimasen. Hai. 1時間後には着くかと。クワイエット
you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. <clears throat> We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You... You were at... Compeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly! <laughs> Victor, who will fix us up? We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica. In front of Vex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes. Beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the bay by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. You in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Years of rain. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I 
let it all out into a mic, and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, I <sighs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. As a personality construct on that shard, dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would be. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I have to die. I am going to die. That what you're saying? Prove it. Hmm. Dex shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short-circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. Empty vessel? But I'm right here. All of this is me. The shard doesn't read, it writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, doing away with the old. From where the shard's sitting, you, what's left, it's all a tumor that needs to be excised. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. 
Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Ah! Who you work for? Start talking! Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Never, asshole. Not like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck it. I'm gonna fuck. kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for?
sunshine and seize the day in Night City. If Watson's the place you haunt, you fork up ghouls. I got good news. Kebra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure. Let me see what you got.
uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Nova City. Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Hanako-sama, 
いたけて光栄ですこちらこそ Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you Fucking soccer scums everywhere Hey, I was listening to that Shut up Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt What did you say? You heard me Let it go, Takamura Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Leave me the fuck alone! You don't need to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want from me? Are you still upset about the other night? You tried to kill me. Well, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Fuck off, you psychopath. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. 
Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.